celebrate it, of course. We are making marble chocolate, and let me just tell you right now, it is so delicious. Like, when I filmed this, this um, I made that, I made another one the two days later, and then I made two different ones, one with the rainbow drops and one with marshmallows, two different ones for today, Easter, to give out to my family for great snack. And it's great for a party food, a nice treat, or just a quick snack while watching some movies. It's also a nice um, thing to put in your Easter table decoration that I made for a tutorial on Wednesday, I think it was. So yeah, let's go! The supplies you will need are greaseproof paper, a big bowl or tray, three heat proof bowls, white chocolate button, rainbow drops or anything you want and milk chocolate buttons. Also toothpicks but these are optional. Cut out a sheet of grease proof paper and put that over your bowl or tray. This is my heartbeat song and I'm gonna play. Now open all three packets of your buttons and pour each one into a separate bowl. To melt them. I'm first taking my first lot of buttons and putting them in the microwave for 30 seconds. Does it ever drive you crazy? Just so Once they're ready, I take them out and I stir them for a little bit so only a few of them start to roughly melt. Now I'm putting them back in the microwave for another 30 seconds so it's completely melted. Oh, and you can always have a dance party while you're waiting. <laughs> now, now stirring it thoroughly until it's all fully melted. And smells delicious and makes you want to lick the entire bowl. But don't, don't do that. <laughs> I mean, don't lick it, you know. Now do exactly the same for the other buttons. In my case, it's the white ones. And then um, just keep stirring it. And every so often, don't leave them to sit for too long. Just stir them again because they can go hard quite quickly. I've learned that the hard way. Also, after the two times is 30 seconds and they're still not melted and they don't want to and they're too thick, you can always put them in for another 10 or 15 seconds. Now just take a pinch of the rainbow buttons and put them to the side. Put the rest in for um, 30 seconds and then stir that. And now put these in for 15 seconds not 30. This makes the mixture a little bit thicker. Now the fun part, pouring it all from your bowl into the pan in, on the grease proof paper and just go wild, make it really thin because once I made it super thick you couldn't even bite or break it, it would like break your teeth if it was really thick. So make it as thin as you want, just like swirl it. I'm using toothpicks to swirl it all together to make a marble effect and you can also like get a spoon and just flatten it out if you want. I did the milk and the white chocolate first and then on top as a top coat I did the rainbow buttons and then I sprinkled on some extras ones I left aside. Now put this in the fridge, it doesn't take long at all, you can leave it half an hour or one hour, I actually left it two hours, I didn't know it would um, harden so quickly. And then you can literally break them into pieces, like go like as random as you want. You, I tried cutting it um, with a knife, it doesn't really work, but um, if it's thin enough for you, you maybe can. But I like this because it's like little bark pieces.
Now you can just put them on the bell, on the Easter table decoration, or any little party bag things like I've done for today as Easter. Um, just, yeah, do however you want to display them and they're done and you can eat them and enjoy them because they are delicious and then get addicted and want to make thousands so did you enjoy it did you make it and did you love it and yes i knew i knew you would yeah so yeah comment down below if you did make it and rate it out of 10 zero being disgusting like you'd never eat that again or 10 being like this was the best thing i've tried like i'm gonna make loads of this because for me 10. so yeah all my social medias are in the description box below so you can just like click any one of them and just click a follow and friend button be like best friends so yeah that's all for today um i hope you guys are having a crafty day just like me and i'll see you in my next video bye